Tonight, hundreds of Caldor fire survivors are getting much needed help nearly nine months after the flames tore through parts of El Dorado County. Communities like Grizzly Flats were destroyed in that fire. KCRA 3's Orco Mana shows us how the county food bank and local service organizations are aiding in the recovery process. A strong show of support for the hundreds of people affected by the Caldor fire. We're not victims, we are survivors. Tabitha Walker lives in Grizzly Flats, a community devastated by the fire, which started last August and burned more than 221,000 acres. This is what Tabitha's home used to look like, but after the flames tore through Grizzly Flats, this is all that remained. She and her family lost everything. It's a horrible thing to go through, and I relive it daily. Yeah. But it's the past and we're moving forward and we're getting ready to rebuild and we're a strong community. We'll get through this together. Sorry. That unity on full display tonight at this gathering at the food bank of El Dorado County. Registered Caldor fire survivors like Toby Magidson receiving financial support in the form of gift cards. It means a lot to us. Um, sometimes we feel we get forgotten. Toby, who also lost his Grizzly Flats home, says he's thankful for any monetary assistance. And we're going to rebuild. It's going to be a tough, slow process for us. But when you're from Grizzly, you have a toughness. The food bank raised $80,000, which was matched by the El Dorado Community Foundation, $160,000 total being donated to roughly 250 families. We're here for them if they have any needs. Mike Sproul, the food bank's executive director, says that includes more than just money. Around 20 service organizations, including mental health and legal services, offering their resources as well. The goal of today's event was to bring all the fire survivors together to attempt to show them that the community really cares about them. While these past several months of recovery have been tough. It's been very, very hectic, very, very busy. El Dorado County District 2 Supervisor George Turnboo says he's trying to make things as smooth as possible. We have a, an emergency declaration that we put in place, so we have a build, rebuild process for these victims, and we're waiving all the, uh, the building permit fees. Tabitha is grateful for all the help and wants her property, which looks like this now, to be her home once again. What I'm hoping for is to have what we had before. The families impacted by the Caldor fire who were registered but could not make this event will get the financial assistance at a later date. Reporting in El Dorado County, Orcomana KCRA 3 News. There is also a new emergency disaster center in the works in El Dorado County. It will be located right next to the food bank. We're told it will house items like water tanks and cots to make sure the community is better prepared for future emergencies. Meanwhile, the California Fire Safe Council says Wildfire Awareness Week begins this Monday. 